So I'm Scott Marincheck and this is my 1995 E36 convertible. I had bought this car and sold it previously just to make money off of it back when I used to flip E30s and E36s all the time. And the guy drove it for a while, gave it to his daughter and she overheated it. So he brought it to me to look at it and I told him the head gasket was bad and he was gonna scrap it. So I bought it off of him, put a head gasket on it, drove it for a while and then eventually the motor blew up. So now it's currently on its third engine, which was due to overheating. And this one seems to be good. It's a M52TU, which I had to change a lot of stuff to get it to fit in this car and work. I would never recommend anybody else doing that, but it is possible and it works. And it just put down uh, 190 horsepower on the dyno, which is pretty good for an E36. So I'll take it. Like I said, it was an automatic. I swapped it to a Getrag G260 just because they're a lot more common and easy to find. It's got a lightweight flywheel, uh, FX400 clutch, a Turner catback exhaust, valve prototype exhaust, a chassis mount shifter, mostly stuff I either had laying around or I got really cheap because this is my budget winter beater build. I've probably got maybe $2,500 total in the whole car and you couldn't tell by looking at it. So I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, it's a convertible and I also have three kids. So a lot of people ask me about that, but all three kids fit in there. I put a car seat in there and two kids in there, drive to soccer practice almost every single day with it. And I haven't really had any issues. The only complaint would be the trunk's not big enough for a full size jogging stroller, but that's really picking at straws there. <laughs> Otherwise, I love the car and I would definitely recommend it as a daily driver for anybody. The heat stays in it. People talk about how it's gonna get cold because it's the top. I don't have any problems. I gotta turn the heat down in it. Rear wheel drive, it's got a welded diff with Blizzax on all four. So it's a tank in the snow, had no problems. It's just overall a great car and a great winter beater. <laughs> Uh, like I said, this one just happened to fall into my lap. I wouldn't say I would go out and pick this one if I was going to search for a car. It is perfect and the E36 chassis is definitely great for winter driving if you enjoy sliding around and having fun, which I do. As far as winter beater, I would say anything that you're buying to drive to keep another car off the road would be a winter beater. And that was the purpose of this car. I have my E30, which never gets driven in the snow. And this is my only other car. So this is my winter beater and daily driver. I'm gonna keep it like this for now and drive it and enjoy it while I work on the other car getting ready for drag week. And then after that, since we just did the dyno and it put down good numbers, it's got good compression tests, everything points to me having a healthy engine this time uh, forced induction will probably be in the future at some point whether that be a supercharger or a turbo that's not decided yet at some point it probably will not be driven in the winter but for the foreseeable future this is just my daily and it's gonna get driven every day